Welcome to the Microsoft Translator Hub. In this video, we'll show you the basics of how the Translator Hub works and what you'll need to do to get started. The Microsoft Translator Hub was designed for use by organizations that have specific translation needs, whether it's for language preservation or it's for specific domains. The purpose is to put creation, improvement, and deployment in the hands of users. First, let's talk a little bit about how machine translation works with the Microsoft Translator Hub. The process for translating from one language to another can be broken down into four basic steps. Setting up a project, uploading the data, training a system to translate from one language to the other, and finally, deploying the system. Within each of these steps, there are several activities that need to be completed. Once you've signed in, more detailed instructions are provided, such as how-to tutorial videos to help you along. Microsoft Translator Hub uses a set of documents that you provide to learn your language, domain, and terminology. You'll need what is commonly referred to as parallel documents. These are documents that are written in both languages but contain the same information, the languages that you're translating from, and the languages that you're translating to, which we refer to as the source language and the target language. Together, these two languages are referred to as a language pair. For creating a translator system between a language pair in Microsoft Translator Hub, we suggest that you have approximately 200,000 words or 40,000 parallel sentences. It is possible to build a translation system with fewer sentences, say approximately 10,000. However, the quality of such a system would be very low and not very usable. In addition to parallel data, you can provide as many documents in the target language as possible. Documents written in the target language help the translation system decide whether it can be considered for alternative translations, which could be more accurate. The first step in getting started is to request an invitation to join the Microsoft Translator Hub. Simply click on this link in the Translator Hub homepage and request access to the system. Be sure to tell us a little bit about yourself and your project. For instance, let us know if you're trying to create a translation model for a specific dialect of a particular language, or whether your interest is more for research, language preservation, or another specific use. Once your request has been received, we'll send you an invitation code that will allow you to log into the system and get started. Once you're signed in, you can get started with your first project. We've set up a simple form for you to fill out, and once you've created the project, you can invite others to join by using our community tools that allow you to send out invitations to others. You can invite co-owners to help you manage the projects, and reviewers who will help you review the training and provide suggestions to increase the accuracy of the resulting translations. Community members who are not reviewers can be included by selecting some documents and emailing them links to click on in order to reach the reviewer UI. Next, you'll set up a training session so that Microsoft Translator Hub can learn how words, phrases, and sentences are commonly mapped between the two languages. Your project will need to be assembled of parallel and monolingual documents, so you'll need to upload those next. You can upload them as a single zip file to make it easier. Microsoft Translator Hub will automatically extract the documents and remove any formatting and images, so there's no need to do that ahead of time. We're currently supporting Microsoft Office Word documents, as well as Adobe Acrobat files, HTML, plain text, and TMX file formats. It may take several training sessions in order to create an accurate translator system. Once a training session has been successfully completed, your translator system can be deployed for review by your community of language experts. Project owners and invited reviewers have the ability to review suggested improvements and can accept or reject them as appropriate. I hope this answers all of your questions about getting started with Microsoft Translator Hub. If you'd like to contact us, you can do so at hubinfo at microsoft.com. Thank you for watching.